Hello, this is Ronald Harico, one of the co-authors of Browser Shots Carousel, and I'm going to show you how to insert the block. And it's a Gutenberg block only, so if you're looking for a short code or something else, um, this plugin does not have a short code currently. So what you do is you type in Browser Shots Carousel, and you'll be presented with a screen where you enter the image URL. And then you can enter an optional link URL, and then let's do a caption. I can't spell right. And then I want to add another slide. Let's use mediaron.com for example. And then let's add one more slide, and then we'll be done. And we can hit the preview, and you can scroll through the slider like it's on the front end. And you can see the captions. Uh, we can select medium, large, extra large. Um, let's go ahead and do medium for this test. And for the seam, I'm going to do default. You can select between bar, dark, and light. And the effect, let's just do fade and then align the center, and then for link settings, if you use the link on the edit page, um, you can change that here. For the link settings, you can add a link, and then open a new tab, set no follow, etc. But I'm just gonna pop up the images on a light box. So I'm gonna click update, and then view the page. And then here's my carousel. And then I'm going to pop these up in a light box. You can see that the light box works pretty good. And let's do one more edit. Go back to preview. We'll use extra large images. And then for the slider settings, um, let's do a, a bar theme. View page. The bar scene didn't seem to work as that layout, so let's go ahead and change it to something else. It's too dark. I've had success ch uh, doing dark theme. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I expect on the front end. Then you can do the bullets left and right. And then you can still pop it up in a light box. So that is Brother Shots Carousel, and thank you for watching. It's still a little buggy. That's why it's a 0.7 release. Um, feedback is much appreciated. Thank you.